playing as black. So the opponent pushed forward, we blocked it with the pawn as we do. So they've come through now, we're probably expecting this type of attack, but also there is space for the queen to start getting active, so being mindful of that. So developing the knights, attacking the pawn, the pawn doesn't have any protection at the moment. And the knight jumps down, I'm thinking that's a little bit odd, but I have seen it work when I've ignored it, so taking the, taking the knight seemed to be appropriate for us. So we took the knight off the board. In the terms of bad bishops and good bishops, if you want to look at it in those ways, the way that I also think about that is that, well, my black bishop usually just sits here anyway, and it's all jammed in, I'm locked down, so in, in essence, that's my bad bishop. The king's side bishop, I would term as your bad bishop, depending on how you've done your pawn opening, but majority of the time, it really is kind of your bad bishop. They had a good knight, so the knight was, it's flexible, it can jump all over the place, so you don't really have a bad knight until obviously it just can't move anywhere, it's too early for this to be a bad knight. So taking advantage of my bad bishop against their good knight, I think is a kind of a plus for my own personal psychology. So that was my answer to that particular question question was do you want to take my good knight or not yes because my bishop is going to be a bad bishop so why not take it off the board so we're going castle king safety keeping it nice and simple so the bishops come out the bishop is actually blocking this pawn so again that feels like that's going to lose them a bit of tempi anyway positionally it's not really that strong because I mean it's defending the pawn but really bishops aren't designed to defend the pawns I think the idea is probably to bring the bishop back here but then it is kind of closing off the queen so it seems a little bit slow so I'm wanting to take advantage of that so we're pushing forward now onto the pawn giving them something to think about giving them a bit of a problem this seems to be a target area that they've weakened even more in my head by bringing the bishop here to support the pawn. And then the knight comes out and I'm thinking, hmm, this looks pretty straightforward, does it? Oh, in the back of my head, I'm just thinking, well, don't the queen come here and then, you know, take advantage? But really, no, because of the fork that the pawn is going to have. So one of the pieces is going to be taken. So, I mean, it could take, a, it could take the pawn, you know, just to say, well, I'm taking a piece. You know, a piece for a piece, even though it's going to be the bishop that, that gets taken. But the opponent didn't take that opportunity and um, resigned the game. Well, didn't resign the game, they let the game run out. But in any event, the answer to chess, attacking those key spaces, those key pieces, working the pieces together and having a good rationale, a good story for why you're actually applying your moves everybody's story is going to be different everybody's bad bishop is going to be a bad, different bad bishop they'll have a different terminology for it they'll probably like the king side bishop and that's why they just want to keep it there forever and a day um, but in your head you've got to work out what you term as a bad bishop what you term as a good bishop what are good knights what you know however your pieces work for you you've got to have your own kind of story as to when you're kind of willing to allow them to be sacrificed when you're willing to position them in such a position that well if it gets taken i don't really care too much because i'm going to get it back anyway so you've got to have your own story and your own calculations your own strategies your own planning etc etc not the historical ones you have to have your own you can use the history of other players playing um, as a good basis to understand what chess is. But when it comes to you actually playing on the board, it's you and as an individual player, you as a casual player, intermediate player, advanced player, um, whatever type of player that you are, excuse me, it's you as an individual that has to provide the answer to the problem that is facing you on the chessboard right here, right now.